Okay, everybody, this lesson, uh, we're doing more problem-solving skills, and we're going to have variables on both sides of the equal sign. So don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So Janie uh, has, jo has uh, job offers at two companies. One company offers a salary of 28000 with a raise of $3,000 each year. The other company offers a salary of $36,000 with the raise of two thousand dollars each year so how in how many years will Janie's salaries be the same with both companies so so she's uh, uh, gonna see how much long it's gonna take her for the other uh, company to overtake so and then what will the salaries be so there's two questions so how many years will they be the same and then what will that salary be okay so so this one has a smaller uh, starting salary but the bonus year is, is greater this one uh, has a bigger beginning salary, but the bonus is less. So sooner or later, this one's going to overtake that other company. So let's go ahead and let n be the number of years it takes for the salaries to be equal. So when the base salary of the first company plus $3,000 a year is going to equal to the base salary of the second company plus $2,000 a year. So the first company has a starting salary at $28,000 plus $3,000 times the number of years. That's what n is. This is 36,000 plus uh, 2,000 times the number of years. So there's our equation right there. We're going to go ahead and solve. So let's go ahead and subtract uh, 2,000. We're going to get the variables on one side of the equal sign right there. So when we do that, we get uh, that equation right there. It's 3,000 minus 2,000. Now we'll subtract off the 28,000, okay, and then um, uh, we get 1,000 n equals 8,000. So when we divide by 1,000, we get n equals 8. Okay, remember, there were two questions here. How many years will the salaries be the same? Okay, 8 years. So what's the salary going to be? So let's plug in uh, 8 up here into this equation, and we'll check, too, to make sure it equals right there. Okay, so we're going to plug in 8. 3 times 8 is, is 24, so this is 24,000 plus 28,000. 2 times 8 is 16, so 36,000 plus 16,000. We should get uh, 52,000. Okay, so the, to answer the question, so in 8 years, both companies will be uh, 52,000. All right, let's try another one here, you guys. So one moving company charges 800 uh, plus $16 an hour. Another moving company charges 720 plus $21 per hour. Same kind of question, you guys. So uh, what's the number of hours that the companies, uh, both companies will be the same, and what will that charge be? Okay, so, so we're going to, again, let N be the number of hours uh, that they worked. Then uh, what's the moving company charge uh, plus the $16 uh, per hour and then the second moving company plus $21 per hour. Okay, so they, this one starts at $800 and only charges $16 per hour. This one, the other one says starts at $720, but they charge more per hour. So, so we want to know how long is it going to take when they're the same and what will that price be. Okay, let's get the, the variables on, on one side of the equation. All right, and then we'll subtract off the 720, and we get uh, 80 equals 5n. So divide by 5, and we get n equals 16. So 16 hours is when they're going to be the same. Okay, and so what is the charge, though? So we're going to plug in 16 to both sides. So 16 right there and 16 right there. Okay, all right, so 16 times 16 here, and we're going to add 800, and then 21 times 16 here, and we'll add 720. So when we do that, we get 1,056. So after 16 hours, uh, both companies will be charging $1,056. Okay, and then after uh, after 16 hours, the company B starts getting more expensive. So if it's only going to be a day or a day and a half, company A would be good. But after two days, company B would be good. All right. Suppose we collected the variable terms uh, on the other side of the equation. Uh, the equal sign to solve the equation. Would that af uh, affect our solution? So here we, we put the, the variable over here on the right. If we put the variables on the left, what I like doing is using the symmetric property. The symmetric property lets us just flip these around to the other side. So we get this equation, and that way we get the bigger variable on the left-hand side. We'd still get 5n equals 80, and we'd still get the same answer. So no, it won't, it won't change that right there. All right, so Claire bought just enough fencing to enclose either a rectangular 
circular garden or a triangular garden is shown. The two gardens have the same perimeter. How many feet of fencing did she buy? So if they have the same perimeter, then this perimeter is going to equal this perimeter right here. So the, the perimeter of the rectangle equals the perimeter of the triangle. So here we go. Uh, so I did two because there's two of these sides right here, and there's two of these sides right here. That's what this says for the rectangle right here. And then these guys are equal, so I did two of those right there. So now let's use the distributive property. We get that equation. Let's combine like terms, and we get to that stage, okay? All right, and then it's pretty much uh, fundamental after this. So when we keep solving, we get uh, we get x equals 5. Now, that's not the answer, you guys. It says, how many feet of fencing did she buy? So we'll plug in x equal 5 here or here or just into this equation right there. And that's what I did is I plugged it into that equation. So we'll plug it back in. There it is right there. And then we'll just check, you guys. So... So when we multiply that through, we get 28 feet of fencing. So that's what that's what Claire bought is 28 feet of fencing. I know I went fast, but that was the easy part. All right, let's tackle this uh, bear here. So Kim works four hours more each more each day than Jill does, and Jack works two hours less each day than Jill does. Over two days, the number of hours Kim works is equal to the difference of the difference of means minus, and then it's of this four times the number of hours Jack uh, and the number of hours Jill works. Okay, that one's a tough sentence right there. We'll unravel that though. So how many hours does each person work? Okay, all right, so let's let X be the number of hours Jill works because everything seems to revolve around that. Okay, Kim works four more and Jack works two less. So there's that right there. And then it says over two days. Okay, so let's get over two days. So we're just going to put a two times this, times this, times this. So over two days, that's how many hours they work. All right, now this next part right here, it says the number of hours Kim works is, well, that's going to be, so over two days, we're going to use all of these numbers here. So the number of hours Kim works is, so this is going to equal, is uh, equal to the difference of, so it's going to be a minus of four times the number of hours Jack works, so it's going to be four times this, and the number of hours Jill works, so this one. So the difference is going to be four times this minus this. All right, I'll go back through that sentence right here. So it says, here's Kim after two days. Kim's work is four, ti is, uh, four times uh, Jack works and the difference of Jill's work right there. Okay, so Jill's is going to be that. So there's our equation right there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, solve that right there. And I just did four times two is eight. Now I can use the distributive property right here. And we get that part. So the hard part's done. The, first, the, the hard part was getting this equation right here. All right, and then let's just go ahead and keep solving here. So we combine those like terms right there. And then we'll get rid of um, uh, the 16 right there, and we get 24 on that side. Now we'll subtract the 2x, and we get 4x, so x equals 6. All right, let's answer the question. How many hours did each person work uh, uh, each day? So each day, Kim worked x plus 4, Jill worked x, and, and Jack worked x minus 2. So we plug in x, is, uh, x equals 6 into all those. And we get um, uh, Kim works 10 hours, Jill works 6 hours, and Jack works 4 hours right there, okay? All right, you guys, if you're in my class, I would assign you guys that stuff. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Take care.